Hey, and uh, we're back. I'm back. Why of Smiths. This is it. Heavily edited. Heavily edited. I have to say, this is like, I think it took something like 38 minutes. I've tried to press it down to 15 minutes. So, we're in the forge. And this is a very repetitive uh, skirmish or scrade. I think we're doing that with, I think we're doing a T3. Third tier, level 100. Scrade here. And there's not a lot to tell you from apart from what you see uh, going on. You have waves. If you haven't played this before, there are waves of uh, mobs that come. Um, he's coming after me, that gash high rock worm. Oh, oh there he goes. He gets pulled back again. Excellent. Um, there's usually two waves or three waves per kind of area. There are three forges. There's a northern forge you saw at the start. There's the eastern and the western. Okay, there's also the supervisor's platform, which is where we actually ran down from. We'll get to that later because we go there also later. And you get called backwards and forwards. Now I've, as I said, heavily edited this, so I can't remember when the edits come, but there's no point in you seeing this about 15 to 20 times because that's pretty much how many times we have to do it I think on the second or third wave just before you get a, a sort of a two breaks and just before you get a break you get a lieutenant of the uh, the enemy coming out I think 700 and something thousand XP there we are there we've got a brood queen which is yeah 779,000 XP and we're yeah there's a brood queen dead there's a nice edit there also interspersed there are two encounters encounters are kind of mini bosses in a way that you can get some extra marks and medallions here we are at the western forge and there they are again some gash high fireworms this is uh, a part of the Moria quest pack, this instance, there we are, they're all down, they're dead. You don't need to see that all the time. And here comes some more comes, I think just in a minute. There's the sound of the horn, and we've got a Daywalker Berserker. You know this, but if there's shields going around in circles, that means you can't hurt them. To wait, kill some of the adds. Oh, the mobs around them until the shields disappear. Someone resed him there so he doesn't can't do too much damage. And the shields have gone. So we can now burn him down. That's what we like to do. To burn down. And I got rid of one of the uh, I think the guy's name Matt, one of the commenters on here, always asks me, why have you got your bag open? So my bag is now closed. He is now dead. And they're moving against the Northern Forge. So we run backward. We run back to where we came from and we go to the Northern Forge. Oh, I think. Aha! That way. Yes. So, back to the Northern Forge. And burn these guys down. He's very much a rinse repeat. And what you're seeing here, again, 38 minutes, all pushed down to 14 and a half minutes. All that footman wants to. Uh, I must say, it does get very chaotic later. There are certain orders you can do things in. Just get rid of him. This guy. Bye bye. That's it. There are um, certain orders you can do this in, especially the encounters. We choose to leave the encounters to the very last. We drag them in, and you know I die I think, twice, and it gets very chaotic. We usually there is time. There was a second wave just moved in. There's an enraged snapper there, seven hundred eighty thousand. Yeah, there's usually time. Here we are. This is the first. We have like a rest here, and there. 
here we are. And we can. Well, we could have done. We could have run under there now. That's where he's standing. And just taken him out quickly. Burned him down. And then run back here. But for some reason, whoever's leading just decided to wait until the very end. That's their prerogative. But I just think that... Uh, I just think it could have been done differently. It could have done better. But... Yeah, we see, it would have been just one enemy, uh, I think, around again, 700,000. And uh, we could have just taken him down in this time. Or maybe these mobs would have come and, yeah, they could have run over to us. But we could have cleaned it up. We could have cleaned it up, I think, uh, a little bit more than we uh, did. Um, but you'll see that later on. And this... Gash High Berserker, I've got his attention as well, and run back again. I'm not going to start criticising other people, but I just found a lot, you'll see later, that a lot of mobs ran off after me. One actually killed me and never got grabbed again. There you go, just burn those down. Here I go, I retreat. Get my AoE going. I think it's a bit much easier just to get that going rather than a single target when there are so many in this. There we are. And one again coming after me there. I'm not going to criticise the tanks. I haven't tanked so I don't know. But I've done Way of Swiss a few times where I haven't been... Very nice effect. That's sort of shield going around. Well, I haven't been uh, targeted or singled out or attacked before but it happens quite a few times in this one could be me that's the problem again I'm not blaming anyone if you have any ideas why this is happening or what I can do to prevent it please comment as usual there there's a guess, footman lots of nice effects going on the screen really enjoying the circles of flames and the circles of the shield Very nice. Very nice indeed. And there's an emissary of war. It's absorbing everything. You see here there's not taking any damage. There's be some circles that they have to be close to. There. There we are. Now we take them over there. Ah. Oh. Yeah. It cut. We killed them. There was another wave. And here's the other um, encounter that we don't take again. Big jump there. But the Emissary of War, there was a circle. If you get them close to the circle, then you can start to burn them down. There's the first encounter, there's the second. Strangely, though, we leave them to Festa there and up to the back to the supervisor's platform and this is where it goes chaos for me I can't really uh, there's a lot of time where I didn't know what was going on <laughs> who was doing what what I was supposed to be doing where these mobs were coming from I had no idea like this guy here how did he get out to me surely yeah okay I'm not gonna moan but He's hurt me quite a lot. I'm trying to get him off. I'm trying to make sure that... Uh, get him close to the pack so a tank can maybe pick him up. But... Um, it doesn't happen. We can just see him... Uh, again, try to stun him, but it doesn't work. Try and run away again. What a merry dance, really. And, um... Round and round we go. And he still hasn't been picked up by anyone. And... Bam. Dead. Not that I could do about that, I don't think myself. 
Again, any hips, any hips, tips, let me know. And we're back into it. And there was one of the encounters. Again, big edit there, but someone dragged him upstairs. And um, so we burn him down. And there's also a blood rook to take down. So there was two, sort of 700 at the same time, plus adds. And there's also... And here comes the other. They just spawned there. And we've got a berserker going on. Gave us all the smack over here. A bit chaotic. You can see there's a, the noise of a spider. You might be able to hear it or see it. But someone's now gone downstairs and dragged the spider encounters up here as well. There it comes. Yeah. It's all a bit sort of nuts. I enjoyed it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying it. It was like crazy. This is crazy. That's all. And there's two 700. And it's just, yeah, we killed those. And then there was also another 700 at the end, the Primal to Wrath. So that was just uh, that was just absolutely insane. And then we go up. There were no more after that. Then again, there was another edit just because we're so many people standing around or waiting for other people to come back and take their, you know, buff up and stuff. So I just cut it out. But here comes the end boss. Hana, two and a half million. XP. Let's take him down. He has an attack where he can smash the ground and throw everybody back. And um, you can see some ads coming in from the left hand side there. Just burn him down. Again, you don't need to see this whole fight. So this is really a quick look at Way of Smiths. If you really want to see the whole 38 minutes of it, let me know in the comments and I'll just put the whole thing up. But I don't think it's really uh, worth it. And there we go. 200,000 left. you can see actually on the right hand side over there on my bag I, I won a starlit crystal and for that starlit crystal which is good which I was happy about and let's just pick off all the ads and we're done really so that was it that's what Wasmith looks like if you haven't seen it that's what you have to do a lot of pew pew maybe uh, showing from a hunter's perspective it might be more interesting or more tactical if you're a tank to hold aggro. I'm sure it, I'm sure it is, but um, you saw me try with a blue blue trait line and uh, a yellow trait line, and that's it. Like, subscribe, all those things, and um, I'll see you later. Okay, bye bye.